Hi, my name is John Whelan. I'm the Director of Studies for Computer Science and Technology at the University of Hull. Before I arrived at Hull in 2017, I was at Brunel University of London uh, for three years and before that at the University of Sydney in Australia. Uh, but actually, I'm a graduate or an alumni from, from computer science at Hull. Uh, I graduated in 1997, um, so I'm, I'm now back, back, to where, back to where I started. Um, so my position as Director of Studies is looking after the curriculum here in computer science and technology, and that's across our four programs, um, so robotics, software engineering, games programming, and computer science. Uh, and when I use the term computer science in this in this in this uh, lecture or this this video, I'm probably referring to the the departments as a whole. Um, so I'm here to talk a little bit about teaching and a little about what we do. Uh, it help. Um, so computer science is about finding solutions to computing problems, um, and we've got computing problems written there. But ultimately, those computing problems probably relate to problems in the world around us. Um, and those problems could be um, human facing, um, so uh, with a, a user at the end of this, or it could be uh, a kind of systematic uh, hardware problems, algorithm design, and so on. Um, so ultimately, you're going to be engaging in um, developing your competencies and skills to solve these problems and to think computationally. So what we would see here really is um, the kind of staff research that happens at Hull kind of feeding into the, um, the computer science problem solving and where we see uh, developing software for users. We would see you, you know, really considering um, the delivering value to those users uh, and uh, often working with external clients uh, on projects. We assume no prior knowledge or experience. Uh, obviously, we take in a broad range of, of students from different backgrounds. Um, and we structured our program so we have the space to uh, bring you up to speed uh, and uh, support those of you who already have some uh, kind of skill in this area uh, to, to kind of stretch that forward. Um, but really, we are about uh, kind of instilling this 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 kind of thinking, uh, you know, around computing as a, as a domain. Employers obviously want more than discipline specific skills as well. So I know there's a lot of things on this slide about discipline specific skills, programming algorithms. Um, but as a graduate, you know, you need to be able to operate as a lifelong learner. You need to be able to work individually and as part of a team and be aware of, of kind of uh, your self-awareness in those situations and, and how to kind of make sure that you are uh, keeping yourself on track uh, for, for lifelong learning. So, you know, we value those as employers do, you know, kind of in line with the, um, the disciplinary specific skills. So our degrees, as I've mentioned, um, our degrees run uh, either over three years or four years. Uh, so either BSCs uh, or BNGs um, on the mechatronics and robotics side. Um, and then we have the MNG uh, on all offerings as well. And this is a fourth year uh, where you are staying with us for um, a, a year after you would be graduating with a BSc honours. Uh, taking things uh, even even deeper in terms of uh, the, the level of competencies that you have in this discipline. So computer science, uh, I would kind of distinguish from, let's say, software engineering as, uh, I guess, researching and applying some of the more advanced techniques uh, to uh, solving problems and pushing the science forward. Uh, software engineering, um, really focusing on developing software and delivering value for, for stakeholders and, and really looking at kind of contemporary software engineering approaches here, such as continuous integration, continuous deployment. Um, games programming um, or computer science games development, um, balancing the computer science theory with a, with a, a kind of a, a bespoke pathway of modules on graphics programming and simulation, uh, which are you know, really important to any serious uh, games programming uh, jobs or, or careers. And robotics and mechatronics, which is a joint course between computer science and engineering. Um, so it draws on electrical engineering, mechanical engineering, and computer science theory uh, in a very much applied, uh, hands-on doing approach to uh, building and developing and pushing forward uh, robotic design and robotic control. So a bit about my role as director of studies. Um, I'm obviously looking at kind of regularly trying to ensure that our curriculum is uh, as current as it can be. Um, 
And that might be from just kind of year to year improvement of, of modules based upon review and so on. I and mean, we do take kind of our student feedback uh, very strongly at Hull. Um, we just came in the last national student survey, the NSS, 17% um, above the sector average for, for how we listen to the student voice and, and kind of work on uh, working this, with this kind of collaboration with students. You know, we see this as very much a kind of a two way journey, really, that, uh, you know, we are in communication, we're kind of co-creating uh, through, throughout, really. Um, However, something that's a, a bit bigger this year um, and is, is really quite interesting is um, the university as a whole is, is moving uh, to competency-based uh, learning, um, which by definition is about uh, students demonstrating the competency to, to do something through uh, you know, applying themselves to a problem and, and showing that they can perform that, that, that task, that skill um, and that, that, that competency. Uh, so very much uh, moving away from uh, just kind of showing that you can understand something. You know, we want to see that you can understand it and do it. And we want to see the evidence that you you do that. What did you do to demonstrate that competency? So we're part of this process, uh, allying our programs to, to competencies. Um, and to do that, we took this as a chance to really look at our, our, our programs and um, kind of really get input from industry consultation, from our graduates, from our current students, um, you know, into, you know, what should um, a student be able to do at the, the various levels, um, uh, you know, studying on these programs. Uh, so it's been driven really as a as kind of a top down approach, uh, you know, so it's, it's launching in uh, September 2021. And um, so I'm going to talk about the modules that we're working on today. Um, obviously, these are subject to change. Uh, so this is our, our kind of working plan. So one of the um, uh, core elements we've introduced across our more core computing uh, programs, i.e. not the, the robotics and mechatronics, is, uh, is a backbone module, um, which we, we term a backbone module because it runs across the degree here um, from um, uh, a larger module running across the whole year for each year that you're studying with us. So here we have the dotted line, which is effectively Christmas, um, and we have a first uh, trimester and our second trimester. Um, so, you know, starting uh, in, in January, February, uh, but we have uh, designed a module that sits across both uh, years, uh, sorry, both uh, periods uh, to give us the space uh, to allow you to develop these competencies and support you in developing those competencies and to take on bigger projects uh, to do things that are, um, you know, kind of more authentic, uh, again, using uh, real clients um, and working individually to make sure that we can see that you yourself have got uh, the competencies, uh, but also working in teams uh, where, you know, the competency itself is, is, is the ability to work in the team, really, and, and, and to kind of reflect on your role in the team, uh, something which is inherently important in, in the software industry. So we have a common first year, <coughs> excuse me, across these programs, um, where we do have a module after um, the break, which does uh, take us a little bit into the specialism, so software engineering, games, computer science. The robotics uh, track um, obviously is quite fundamentally different. Uh, it draws on modules from um, our partner departments in our faculty, um, our department of engineering. Um, so these uh, you'll be sitting alongside um, uh, students on mechanical engineering and, and so on. Um, we do have dedicated uh, computer science uh, modules, so fundamentals of me mechatronics um, one and two um, and certain other modules. Uh, but we do understand that obviously, especially in the first year, you do need to have a, a solid uh, engineering underpinning. Um, so a, a lot of that is delivered uh, from, from the engineering department. Example here, just a very piece of first year uh, student work. Um, this is uh, from the robotics uh, uh, program. Uh, so just programming uh, robots to follow tracks and to behave in a, in a space uh, and be aware of their surroundings. So moving into second, <coughs> second year, this diploma stage on our uh, computer science suite, um, we have our backbone structure, um, which is now uh, a module called Design, Develop, Deploy. Uh, so this runs over both trimesters. And what it does is it, it, it takes um, it kind of students from, from our programs through the software development process uh, from a conceptual start uh, to understanding requirements with different methodologies um, to developing uh, and designing. Uh, and then through to deployment uh, and actually uh, shipping the software through uh, different infrastructures and so on. 
So again, having this larger module gives us the space to, to take on board uh, kind of bolder industry standard uh, types of uh, ways of working with software. And then of course, the, the modules which support this uh, and develop this. Um, there's more bespoke modules at second year for the different pathways. Uh, so game students um, uh, need to take artificial intelligence for games um, and graphics and simulation one. So we're starting to understand uh, the graphics programming and the physical simulation of, of behavior. Um, there's some artificial intelligence which is shared across uh, computer science and games, um, but then those modules themselves deviate off into, uh, you know, being specific for, for the discipline. Software engineering has a bespoke module uh, looking at the, the more uh, kind of refined nature of designing according to different uh, software engineering patterns and Computer science and software engineering share databases and networks uh, module kind of looking at uh, different uh, ways of deploying information systems um, uh, across across a network and supporting that. Software engineering and computer science um, uh, both engage in human computer interaction module uh, where we are um, presenting the, the, the fundamental traits of, of how we need to design for good user experience and how we can create an interface uh, that is amenable to exploration and is a joy to, to use uh, and can communicate uh, what it needs to do to allow you to get through that, uh, that sequence of interactions. Uh, those, mod sorry, those degrees, computer science and software engineering, can choose to have a, an option of furthering their programming skills, uh, moving into C++ and understanding how that works at a machine level. Um, or they can choose uh, to engage in exploring uh, projects with mixed reality development. So uh, virtual environments, uh, extended uh, interfaces in terms of hardware uh, kind of engagement um, and different ways of augmenting our vision, our sound and so on with, with digital content. So this brings us through to, I'm um, oh, sorry, the, to the, uh, before I go on to the third year, um, the robotics. Uh, shares the artificial intelligence strand uh, and again does more bespoke modules to do with the uh, controlling of microcontrollers, uh, merging uh, sensors and simulation um, and looking at embedded systems and uh, microprocessor design uh, and continuing uh, with the, the mechatronics uh, and mathematics uh, from, from engineering. Going to third year on the uh, computer science suite um, uh, on a stage project, so a large research project working with a member of staff on either pushing uh, boundaries of things experimentally uh, or developing uh, solutions uh, to solve some identified problems. Uh, a range of optionality on computer science, uh, but again, more uh, keyed in uh, pathways for games and uh, for software engineering. So graphics and simulation and uh, games architectures following into parallel and concurrent programming games engines uh, for the game students. Um, secure digital infrastructure, looking at uh, starting to think about actually architectures for um, uh, developing and deploying uh, over, over the cloud. Uh, digital disruption and innovation, uh, looking at uh, trying to identify niche areas uh, to innovate, uh, to push uh, kind of uh, new application development. So um, uh, kind of stepping a little bit away from the, the technology and thinking a little bit more about uh, kind of design opportunities. Um, safety critical systems, so kind of, uh, you know, we've talked about designing for humans, but what happens if those systems need to talk to systems and ensure that there is uh, safety engineered into that system? and uh, distribute systems programming. Uh, so again, working with uh, software running across uh, multiple instances of uh, infrastructure. Computer science, having more optionality, as I say, can take some of these, but also has a, a core of data science and visualization um, and computer vision. Um, so um, uh, sort of more of a, a kind of uh, advanced uh, uh, elements of the, of the discipline. Robotics. Continuing their track uh, with the Honor Stage project again, um, uh, I just supervised a robotics student uh, looking at uh, brain controlled um, prosthetics. So if you've uh, lost a limb, how we can use brain interfaces to uh, be filtered through machine learning to uh, control um, a, a, a robotic uh, arm in that, in that sense, uh, there the, is a, a prosthetic attached to the, to the user. Uh, further modules, obviously, building up um, uh, the advanced level of, um, of that program. 
So he's kind of an example that draws on, I guess, quite a few of those uh, points. Um, it's obviously looking at uh, uh, machine vision, uh, looking at tracking objects, looking at identifying objects, something that's obviously fundamental to um, a robotic system uh, with an interface to the outside world, but obviously inherently uh, driven by the, the computer science behind uh, what has gone into this. Um, so this is a kind of third year uh, project level example that you'd be kind of seeing, you know, kind of across the degrees really. If you're staying with us into your master stage, uh, so this is uh, the fourth year with us, um, our uh, backbone structure module is commercial development practice. Um, so this is a bit like uh, design, develop, deploy, um, working through the, uh, the full kind of software uh, life cycle, um, but this time uh, with uh, regular contact with external clients. Uh, so this is uh, really getting you a, a kind of almost like a, a, a placement or a, um, an internship uh, embedded uh, in our module structure, uh, so it's kind of in line. Um, so it's a, it's a, it's kind of a real world client uh, interface module, uh, and really the the advanced modules carrying on those kind of vertical pathways that go through our, our degrees um, in a in a kind of spiral way, if you like. Uh, there's a, a a term in terms of uh, uh, learning and teaching a spiral curriculum design, uh, where we're looking at the competencies that we want you to have uh, from your degree. And, and kind of revisiting them um, throughout the stages, building up on them and, and, and going deep, down deeper into that spiral in terms of your level of criticality and ability uh, to, to work in this domain. Um, so that's a, a kind of an overview of uh, structures. Um, just finishing on there with the, uh, the fourth year for the robotics. So uh, again, this, this brings in a, a group project uh, working together on the construction um, and design of, of a robotic system. Uh, and, and brings in uh, some of the, the more advanced elements, uh, just like I mentioned, the, the kind of prosthetics or the bionics uh, merging, uh, you know, human and, and machine uh, together. We obviously have a lot of facilities, which I'm sure you've heard about in some of the other presentations. And uh, it's great to have a look through our 360 degree uh, walkthrough video and explore it yourself. Uh, so I won't kind of over mention it here. You need to really see it either virtually or, or physically. Uh, but we have obviously, you know, um, support facilities to bring all of this to, to, to life. We've obviously been through a year of um, kind of uh, pretty much solid online online learning. Um, sometimes uh, that has been a challenge. Uh, sometimes it's opened new opportunities to us. Um, so I think coming through this, uh, we're learning some things which have been useful. Obviously, we can't wait to get back to, to some face to face activity. Um, uh, you know, in, in terms of, of, of working together, ensuring that uh, content has been understood. Um, but the advantages that we have found in terms of uh, the resources that staff have prepared, how students access and engage with some of this content, um, you know, and, and then how we support it in a, in a, in a kind of a, a physical way is something that we, you know, are really actively uh, looking at, at, at what we continue and what we can adapt. Um, so, you know, some of the techniques we've been using our learning environment called Canvas, um, where we can um, uh, kind of have uh, workshops uploaded and all sorts of uh, material. It's kind of a very much uh, the repository of our information. Uh, teams we found uh, to use very dynamically. Um, in some ways, I teach a lot of the software engineering uh, group project modules and the group project modules have uh, transitioned or have transitioned quite interestingly remotely. So, um, you know, we would have small uh, breakout channels in teams where we could just drop into group sessions and support uh, teams individually. And then the teams can record those feedback sessions so they can uh, have a, you know, a capture of what we've been discussing. Um, Discord, uh, different back channels uh, to uh, have communications, uh, to have rapid support and, and, and so on. So um, we, we you know, certainly uh, review what we've been through and, and see how it can support uh, our blended uh, kind of learning going forward. So that's given a, you know, kind of an overview of, of kind of the, the approaches to teaching and learning. Um, you know, we, we are moving to this competency-based approach. Um, we are anchoring our, um, our, our kind of content and our, our competencies within industry or kind of staff research interests. Um, and, and it's very much about demonstrating your ability to, to perform these competencies um, through uh, often uh, kind of uh, iterative uh, lab book work where you're constantly working on things and getting uh, feedback to then uh, maybe do a larger project towards the end of that uh, module. Um, 
or working in teams or, or working individually on, on kind of real world project briefs. So um, hopefully this clarifies uh, the uh, structures that we're working on and, and why we're working on them. And obviously, if anyone wants to get in, in touch with me, um, my name is uh, John Whelan. Uh, you've seen it at the beginning of the slide deck. And that's just at hull.ac.uk. Thank you.